towards the bottom by two degrees. Do you see the video? Yes, I see the video. We, we have... We see the video, we see the message uh, that is SFA is ready. Forward docking probe on uh, Prishal has been extended. Uh, the docking system is now active, some 12 minutes away from contact and capture. Anton, at range 30, um, at three, 30 meter range, do not send command over content is retracted. Okay, copy. Our range is about 30 meters. I am turning uh, off BPS initial operation. Copy. Flying just north of Rome and soon to enter an orbital sunset, the uh, node module now just 30 meters away from its final port of call. AGC mode. Yes, uh, the target is toward the bottom uh, by about two degrees. Uh, the crosshairs are aligned. Copy. Speaking simultaneously. Our range is about 20 to zero. Copy. Continue. And we can uh, continue monitoring the automatic approach. We see uh, some uh, interferences in the video, uh, and now it, the video is restored. Copy. Uh, five minutes until eclipse. One cell on the target. Uh, about 18 meter range. Okay, we see a little bit of a roll. We see. Uh, the target toward the bottom within two degrees. Copy. All of those reports uh, to Anton Shkaplerov and Pyotr Dubrov on the International Space Station indicating uh, a perfect alignment of the uh, Prishal's uh, forward docking probe that you can see in this view as it uh, is about to pass behind uh, the solar array on a Soyuz uh, vehicle that is docked uh, nearby at the, at the uh, Rosviet module of the International Space Station. Now 15 meters separating Prishal from Nayoka, closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second. I work, I'm working with AGC mode. I see crosshairs are being misaligned. I see the target. Uh, the roll is about 30, 30 degrees. Copy. About two cells. Uh, the range is about eight meters. The target is to the left uh, by about thir uh, three degrees. Copy. Uh, the misalignment is increasing. Three degrees to the left. We're going with the uh, roll bias of 30. Uh, two and a half cells. The range is about six meters. Copy. I'll continue monitoring the automatic approach until it uh, it's more by the misalignment is uh, more than four cells. Okay. Six meters away now. Three degrees to the um, 
left and bottom now about two degrees. Core's final alignment uh, is taking over. Uh, bias is standing by for contact and capture. About one meter. Three degrees to the left to the bottom, uh, to the bottom one degree, we, we have contact. Contact confirmed and capture confirmed at 9.19 a.m. Central Time, 10.19 a.m. Eastern Time as Prishal and the International Space Station flew 262 miles over Ukraine. So, a holiday season delivery of a new module to complete the Russian segment of the International Space Station, now complete. And uh, the docking probe now retracting. This will pull the two docking interfaces flush against one another to enable the initiation of the closing of hooks and latches. Copy. Once again, uh, the new module, the node module, a multi-port uh, docking venue for future progress resupply craft and piloted Soyuz vehicles. Now part of the International Space Station, you can see it there, docked to the Earth-facing port of the Naoka Multipurpose Laboratory Module, having been delivered by the Progress Instrumentation and Propulsion Module that is attached to Prishal and which will undock on December 21st to be deorbited to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere, leaving the node module, of course, as a permanent fixture on the International Space Station. Docking occurring once again at 9.19 a.m. Central Time, 10.19 a.m. Eastern Time, as Prishal and the International Space Station flew over Ukraine.